Uh, very good morning, Audrey, and a very good morning to our viewers at home. Yes, Audrey, we're here in the Free State, a place called Tabanchu, um, under the Mangaung local, uh, Mangaung district municipality, rather, uh, a place which is very highly contested, uh, which encompasses uh, five political parties and inclusive of two independent parties, uh, both in the uh, six wards in, 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 in this uh, uh, community of Tabanchu. Yes, Audrey, we're here with uh, different political parties who are here to give us the insight as to how are they electioneering and consolidating support from the locals as we are just months away uh, from the local government elections. Uh, Audrey, uh, just to, to give us the, a brief insight as to their party uh, manifestos and as to what they're going to do uh, for the community members. I have uh, different members here of the political parties who will give us a brief insight, starting with the COPE on my uh, far right, who will be giving us an insight as to, as a party of COPE, what are they offering the people and what challenges are they noted in the communities and how are they going to go about those challenges uh, in servicing the community of here in Tabanchu. Thank you, sir. And very good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, on that point, could you just please give us a brief insight as to, as a COPE, uh, what are you guys going about as to your manifestos and what uh, challenges are, are you noting in communities and how will you go about that in addressing those issues should you guys govern the local government elections come the 3rd of August? Uh, okay, we, we have uh, reasons why why we ask uh, people to vote for Congress of the People. Like, firstly, uh, I can say uh, we as the COPE members, uh, we are going to provide the excellent services delivery through the capable public servants and rooting out corruption. The other one, uh, build and maintenance infra infrastructure for affordable energy, clean water, running water, sanitation, tire road, and brand band services. The other one, uh, we have uh, we have councillors who are re re reliable and accountable, incorruptible, se servants of the people and commit, uh, committed to the good governance. Uh, having it there, telling us that as a Congress of the people, they do uh, adhere to their manifesto plans as to providing good services to the people and eradicating all the corruption within the municipalities. Uh, just again, Audrey, to give us another insight from their party manifesto is the DA, who will further tell us as to how are they going about and how are they electioneering for the campaign and how are they consolidating the support from the community members. A very good morning, sir, and thank you for being with us today. On that point, could you please tell us, as a DA, what are you offering the people? What are the challenges that you've noticed? And how are you going to go about in addressing those challenges in the two the communities? Yeah, let me start by saying thank you for the opportunity that we are afforded to us today as a DA. Uh, like we said in the beginning, our manifesto is a people's manifesto. Why we are saying it's a people's man manifesto? We move around listening to the people. What is it that they want to see it? integrated in that but, but manifesto. After that, we made five commitments. Commitment number one, we said we want to see Mangaun that, that is working. Uh, what you are saying when you say Mangaun that is working? As, as you remember, uh, since 1994, we started seeing jobs uh, eroded in Tabansu. We started seeing factories were, were closed, were, were shut down in Tabansu. We see a number of opportunities that are taken away from Tabanchu. Now we are saying the municipality, that is a key responsibility of the municipality to deal with that. Number two, we said we want to see uh, Mangaun that is innovative. What we say, what you are saying when you are saying Mangaun that is innovative? We are having two institutions. That is the Central University of Technology. That is the University of Free State. Uh, we are going to utilize those two institutions to keep and <coughs> and. Get, 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 get us in, in line with the technology that is taking place. Okay. Just to cut you short there, sir, telling us uh, from the DA that uh, their main focus is of uh, economic activity in the Mangaun area and having a, a governor who is held accountable for all the mishaps into the, in the communities. Uh, just and Then again, Audrey, we, from the African National Congress, we have uh, someone who will tell, give us an insight as to how are they going about uh, their campaigns and what uh, lights are they seeing? Will they be able to further uh, ca uh, counter uh, this uh, municipality as they are the current governors of this Thank you very much, ma'am. On that point, as the ANC, what are you offering the people and how are you going about addressing and ensuring that the people get what they deserve in the communities? Okay, thank you, sir. As the African National Congress, we are saying people will people must still vote for the African National Congress. As we have noted, our manifesto is saying that ANC, uh, we are governing and we will still continue governing. Let's talk about the issue of electricity. Before 1994, even today, we know that most of the areas were using candles. But now, because of the ANC, people, we managed 69% people are getting electricity. We are saying in the rural areas also, electricity is there. Again, what I'm saying, uh, I would like to talk about health issues. Uh, we, as the ANC, 
eh, from childhood ne rona is anc ba na ba rona re ba tsaya go tloga ba le banyane eh ha tla ha fela as the anc ngwana o kreya eh bophelo bo botle ba gona go ratso le pele ka bona go itla la bana gola ha re patale ke mahala fela nthongwe le ngwetso la pele engwe gape re tlo go re bue ka yone ke metsi ra itse mo di rural area sin tsa rona but ba rona bana ba sa thole metsi but ra gona as the african national congress gore o molomo a thole metsi re tlo le le issue ya gore mo re dulang teng ga itse rena le challenges e le nyane fela e le gore bo metsi a rona teng ga itse gore re kopana le some of the leakages but as the agency we are saying pela re ya pele another issue re tlo re bue ka no ke outsource ra re municipality wa rona eh outsourcing ha re sa e batla in the municipality re gona bana batho ba rona ba skilled re hire bona and another thing re bulen ka ene ke housing re re matlo a rona batho ba rona ga itse mo se ba ga tla bua ka matlo a rona e leng gore rona is the african national congress gona le matlo e leng gore ha ra fetse but the contractors have been approved in tabantjo for what we are going uh, yes audrey telling us they from the african national congress that they are noting the challenges within the community but they are ensuring that they will further sustain all the services that they are rendering into the communities just before i let you go and bring back to you back in studio i'll just have a voice uh, from the community member who will tell us he's here with us hearing what the political parties are saying but just to have his voice from the side of the community as to is this viable is it sellable and w is it enough to convince the people to consolidate with the political parties as we are building closer to local government elections thank you very much sir on that point we hear the political party speaking are you as a community guys are convinced as to all that they are saying to you guys and are you willing to assist them in governing in come the local government elections no i'm not really convinced because when you look for the past 22 years the black farmers don't have electricity on tabanchu we are very suffering and the water is, is not there in the rural areas and the roads are bad in the rural areas and the people from the rurals don't get to work these people they urbanized everything they talk about the things that they are happening on the urban they are not talking the real thing that is happening the life that is there on the rural area people are really suffering i'm not convinced at all uh, giving us there from the side of the community saying yes they hear what the political parties are saying in their manifestos but the gravest concern is that the urbanization and leaving behind the people from the rural areas uh, speaking of uh, the upgrade uh, speaking of developments within the townships but forgetting the rural areas where it all began uh, for right now order this is what we have from Tabanju but we will have a full a full uh, update for you guys later on at 5 p.m. back to you guys in studio well just very quickly before you leave us Lungani um, Tabanju is one of the oldest towns in the free state and it's also full of heritage and it's a tourist attraction um, venue. Is the local economy, you know, building up to that at all? Yes, uh, they are making mention as to they want to fast track uh, the economic activity around this area. As we know that it is rich in heritage. Just to give a brief instance, the JS Morocco uh, site here in Sabanchu, just five kilometers away from us. They are saying that what they would like to see as a community is also those things being sustained as it injects uh, all the economic activity within the Sabanchu community. Of course. Well, thank you for that report, Lungani. They're coming to us from the Free State where different political parties are gearing up their preparations and are ready to take the municipality.